residential mortgage debt. Why does that offer the superior return and where are we in terms of risk on our MBS? Yeah, that's a great question. I think the, these are certainly credit-oriented investments. When many people think of mortgage-backed securities, they think of Fannie Mae or, or uh, Freddie Mac, government-guaranteed mortgages mostly. But we tend to focus and are largely focused on non-agency mortgage bonds. Uh, it's an area that I believe is undervalued, certainly credit-oriented. That's really the key here. So it's an area that still suffered some stigma from the crisis and from the housing crisis that uh, we all lived through. Uh, but it's our belief that they're still very much undervalued. Uh, they're providing uh, very attractive income at this point on a monthly basis. And they are, to a certain degree, levered to a housing recovery uh, because you are facing credits of individual borrowers from all over the United States. So primarily subprime? Uh, actually, no subprime. No subprime. No subprime at, at, at all. So it's so all you're at prime. absolutely prime okay. and, and all that fuzzy area in between the two, which is Alt A. And so we tend to focus on a higher quality subset within the mortgage, uh, private mortgage realm. So it's really prime and Alt A. In terms of how the housing recovery is playing into what you're thinking about, where are we in the recovery? How is your fund going to change its holdings as that recovery matures a little bit? Yep. It's, you know, right now we're still very much in the early stages of recovery. We're seeing it on a path right now for about 10% in, in home price appreciation. A lot of that is a function of this drawdown of inventories. We were at one point close to a year's worth of home inventory, and now it's whittled down much closer to four or five months. That looming shadow inventory that everyone was uh, so concerned about, which was obviously uh, a concern, but uh, has now also come down by a good 30 or 40 percent from where it was. So you're seeing a drawdown in inventories. Delinquencies are down considerably. Uh, borrowers and, home and personal consumer balance sheets are a lot better than they were a few years ago. So we're seeing, beginning to see a rebound. And uh, it's an area that we think makes a lot of sense, and it ties well to, to the, this non-agency uh, uh, sector, uh, just because you have the combination of fundamental improvement, which where there are so few sectors right now in the economy that are as strong as housing, tied to the fact that we still believe the bonds themselves are actually undervalued.